All right, you probably remember a video like this from the annual 420 Festival in Denver. Yes, it is that time of year again. The third annual festival begins tomorrow, and it's expected to attract people from all over the country. And preparations are underway for this free of charge event. And Denver 7 Sally Mamdu is live at Civic Center Park in Denver. Sally, this big weather event doesn't seem to be slowing down the 420 Festival. Absolutely not rain or shine. As you can see, Ann, the stage is set right behind me here. Organizers anticipate this event all year, but they anticipate it not just to throw a big party, but also to get their message out there, which is the need for less marijuana regulations. It's not legal federally. It's not legal to smoke in public. It's not legal to have a social club. It's not legal to smoke if you're in public housing. And chief organizer of Denver 420 Festival, Miguel Lopez, is hoping the annual festival changes these Colorado laws someday. What would be your, your 420 festival vision in 2017? To have a conscious capitalist market where people are uh, commercing as you would see any other event. Now, though, at least 80,000 people are expected to flock to Civic Center Park for a free concert. Lopez says this festival is an opportunity for those who want to see marijuana regulated, like alcohol and tobacco, to be educated on the push and get civically involved. We just want to be fairly treated like everybody else. Lopez says aside from advocating for lesser marijuana regulations, the festival helps bring in more people to Colorado. He says 90% of the hotels here are full. And we checked with the city to see the economic impact this event has on the city. Well, city officials tell me they haven't conducted impact studies on this particular event and wouldn't have those numbers available for us. For now, we're live in Denver. Sally Mamdu, Denver 7. Yeah, very interesting. Thank you, Sally. And for security reasons, Denver police cannot release how many officers will be out policing that event over the weekend. Denver police policy prevents officers from working events like this with marijuana businesses there. Organizers tell us they do have a security plan in place for the event.